Assalamu alaikum my dear student how are you hope that all of you are fine I am also fine this is Saiful Islam lecturer department of mathematics milestone college welcome all of you again to my online class today I will discuss about exercise 3.3 of your general math that is about factorization this is very well known topics to you already you have introduced about these topics in class 7 and 8 so let us start our class at first you should know some rules of the factorization so look at the board factorizations in the factorization at first you should follow the common factor in the given expression if any number is common in all the terms then we will take the common say it is given 3 a square b plus 12 a a square b square plus 6 a b square look it is common 3 a b in all the cases so it will be 3 a b that is a plus a b a plus 4 a b plus 2 b so this is one kind of factorization number two a perfect square if there is no common factor among the uh, terms in that case we want to convert it into a perfect square say it is given 4 s square plus 12 x y plus 9 y square there is no common factors among the terms in this case we want to convert it into a perfect square look 2 x whole square and it is 3 y whole square and we know to make a perfect square we need to write 2 a b in the middle so write 2 and a means 2x b means 3y look 2 to the 4 4 3 the 12 xy this is 12 xy so it actually become 2x plus 3y whole square this is perfect square if it is not convert into a perfect square in that case we need to convert it in the difference of two squares so three number difference of two squares here we will apply the formula of a square minus b square that is a plus b into a minus b i think all of you understood this how to convert into the difference of two squares now four number if it is not possible to convert into difference of two square we want to break up the middle top that is four number break up the middle term for example it is s square plus 5x minus 6 look there is no common factors among these three terms or we cannot express this as a perfect square or we cannot express this as the difference of two squares now what we will do here we will break the middle terms that is 5x so there is some rules to break up the middle terms number one you should break up the middle terms in a way that the product of that two numbers should be the product of the two ends of this 
expression to end number in terms so if you multiply this two time what it will be it will be minus 6x square minus 6 into s square it will be minus 6 s square so if you break a 5x in two numbers the product of the two numbers should be minus 6x square now you should follow this number if this is negative numbers that two numbers which you break up the middle term should be alternative to each other what that means one should be positive another should be negative but if this is plus both the numbers should be positive or both the numbers should be negative here this is minus so we will break up this 5x in two numbers and among between these two numbers one should be positive another should be negative so which two number we can break this yes this is 6 and 1 6x and 1x look 6x is positive and 1x is negative and if I subtract it we will get 5x but why 6x minus x why not x minus 6x look this is plus 5x if I write like this x minus 6x one is positive another one is negative but the result is minus 5x after subtraction this two number will get minus 5x but we have here 5 plus 5x so when it is plus the greater number should be plus here greater number is 6x and the smaller number that is x should be subtract but when it is subtraction the greater number will be subtraction and the smaller number will be addition i think all of you have understood so if you break this number if you break the middle term of this expression what it will be it will be like this x square plus 6x minus x minus 6 if you multiply this two number you will get minus 6 s square and if you subtract this two number you will get plus 5 x so after that take common between these two terms you will get 6 plus x plus 6 again take common between these two terms that is minus 1 it will be x plus 6 ultimately you will get x plus 6 and x minus 1 so this is the system of middle term break now after that if it is not possible to do among this four step what should we do yes now, on that case we should convert the expression as a perfect cube so five number is perfect cube form here if you want if you want to convert a perfect cube form there should be four terms because we know a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube there are four terms similarly in a minus b whole cube there is also four terms so when there are four terms in an expressions you can convert that in a perfect cube okay after that if it is not possible to convert it into perfect cube what should you do you know, on that case you should apply the formula of formula of the addition or subtraction of the cube what are the formula of addition and subtraction of the cube that is a cube plus b cube and a cube minus b cube we know a plus a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square and also a cube minus b cube that is a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square that's are the product of two factors so we can convert or we can ap uh, apply the formula of addition and subtraction that is a cube plus b cube or a cube minus b cube when we will solve the exercise 
we can realize this very clearly so let us start the now solution. problem number one of the exercise 3.3 look it is given a b into x minus y minus b c into x minus y there are two terms this is first term and this is second term between these two terms are there any common factors yeah there is common factors that is b b b are common again x minus y x minus y this is also common so at first we will take the common factor that is b and x minus y are common now we will write the uncommon things in a bracket in the first term there is uncommon is a and in the second term there is uncommon minus c so this is our factorization look within two lines we have completed this math this is very easy if you can realize the problem so this is the answer of question number one now question number three it is given a to the power 4 minus 27 a square plus 1 at first are there any common factor no there is no common factor now number two can we convert it into a property square uh, no this is not uh, you cannot convert this in a perfect square you cannot convert this into a perfect square so what can we do can we convert it into the difference of two square just think yes we can convert this into the difference of two square but how look at the board here we can write this a square whole square and one we can write as one square if you convert this into a perfect square you need to write over there 2a b this is minus so it will be minus 2a a means a square and b means 1 now balance it check it is these are equal or not equal if you multiply these three numbers 2 into 1 2 into a square 2 a square but you have 27 a square you have minus 27 a square but you have written only minus 2 a square so it is left is still now minus 25 a square we can write it's later now it's become the difference of two squares look here is a formula that is a minus b whole square here a means a square and b means 1 here we can write it as 5 a whole square so it becomes the difference of two squares so now apply the formula of a square minus b square here a means a square minus 1 and b means 5 a so it will be a square minus 1 plus 5 a that is a plus b into a minus b now arrange it a square plus 5 a minus 1 a square minus 5 a minus 1 sometime after factorization in the factor it need to factorize again but look in this two factor it is not possible to factorize these two factors again so this is our final answer of three number question now question number five look it is given a square minus b square into a c square minus y square plus 4 a b x y here also two terms this is one term and this is another term but between these two terms there is no common factor here it is not also a perfect square we cannot apply over there over also uh, we cannot convert it also into the difference of two factors here it is also uh, not problem here it is also not possible to break up the middle term since there is no middle term so what should we do here you should apply a another policy you need to multiply this two number after that we will get a new expression look 
multiply this a square into a c square plus minus a square y square now minus b square that is minus b square a c square plus b square y square so we get four terms from this terms and here we can write it into 2a b x y plus 2a b x y there are 4 a b x y we can break up it into 2 a b x y 2 a b x y why because we can uh, we can apply our formula over there a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square look this is a square s square we can write over there a x whole square and this, this is b square y square we can write it b y whole square that is a x is a b y is b so it will be 2 a x b y look 2 a x b y 2 a b x y are similar again there is minus a square y square so take a common minus this is a y whole square and minus b square is square it will be plus b x whole square look we have take a common minus so this plus become minus minus 2 a y b x minus 2 a y b x that is 2 a b x y so this portion become a plus b whole square and this one will be a minus b whole square a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square now it become the difference of two squares so here we can write like this a plus b and a minus b after that there is no calculation there is no cancellation so this is our final answer now question number six look here there is four terms among these four term first three terms we can convert into a perfect square and this is also we can convert a perfect square after that this will be the difference of two squares so right over there 4a square that is 2a whole square 9b square you can write 3b whole square and the middle term you should write automatically there is minus so write over there a minus then 2 into a a means 2a and b means 3b after that multiply these three numbers and match that with the middle term 2 to the 4 4 is a 12 a b 12 a b this is already match now minus 4 c square we can write 2 c whole square here it is 2 a minus 3 b whole square this is 2 c whole square that is a square minus b square so the formula is a plus b and a minus b there is no cancellation so this is our final answer of six number question now question number eight it is given 16 x square minus 25 y square minus 8 x y x z plus 10 y z look between these two terms we can convert them the difference of two squares and between these two terms we can take common to z so let see the solution this is 16 x square that is 4 x 
whole square and 25 y square we can write 5 y whole square that is the difference of two squares and here we can take common to 2 z minus 2 z so it will be 4 x and it will be plus minus that is minus 5 y now apply the formula a square and minus b square over there we will get a plus b into a minus b here this is minus 2z 4x minus 5y now look there are two terms first terms and second terms between these two terms it is common 4x minus 5y 4x minus 5y now take the common 4x minus 5y and it remain 4x plus 5y minus 2z look there is no cancellation so this is our final answer of 8 number question now question number 10 it is given x to the power 4 plus x square minus 20 look there are three terms among these three terms there is no common factor we cannot apply the formula over there or we cannot convert it into the property square we also can't co uh, convert it into the difference of two square so what should we do yes we should break the middle term that is s square s square means there is one s square look this is minus so we will break up this number in these two numbers if that numbers are alternative to each other that is one should be addition another should be subtraction okay which two number if we subtract we will get one and if we multiply we will get 20 because 20 into 1 that is 20 yes this is 4 and 5 if you multiply 4 and 5 4 5 that 20 and if you subtract 4 from the 5 you will get 1 so right over there x to the power 4 plus 5x minus 4x already i have briefed that if it is addition the greater number should be addition and the smaller number should be subtraction and if it is subtraction the numbers should be alternative to each other now between these two numbers we can take common x square so if you divide x to the power 4 by s square it will be x to the power 2 actually common means divide common means divide if you divide x to the power 4 by s square it remains s square if you divide 5 s square by s square it remains 5 again if you divide this two number by minus 4 what you will get you will get over there plus s square you will get over there plus 5 again we can take common s square plus 5 from this two terms and remain s square minus 4 now look already this is factorized but this is not final answer why because in this factor we can convert it into more two factors that is s square plus 5 here we can write s square minus 2 whole square so what it will be it will be s square plus 5 x plus 2 into x minus 2 now this is the final answer of 10 number question now question number 16 and this is the final question of my lecture look it is given a s square plus a square plus 1 into x plus a there is three terms but there is no common factor we cannot convert it into the property square we cannot convert it into the 
terms of two square, square difference of two square. So what should we do? Yes, we should multiply this two number. That is middle term. Okay, this is also one kind of middle term break. Look, a s square. If you multiply, you will get a square x plus x plus a. Now there are four terms. Now between these two terms, we can take common a s is x a x. So take common a x. Just now I have told common means divide. If you divide a s square by a x, you will get x. Again, if you divide a s square a, a square x by a x, you will get a. Now, between these two terms, there is no common. If there is no common, we can take common one. So take common one. That is plus one. It remains x plus a. After that, we take common x plus a from these two terms, and it remains a x plus one. Look, this is the final answer of sixteen number question. So, my dear student, hope that you have understood my lecture. If you have any confusion, any inquiry, please ask your subject teacher. See you again. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.